I am the Chronicler. I shall record your adventures in my book of legends. Tell me of your deeds. All right, playing some more uh, board sales. So the last thing what he taught me was uh, a spell that summons an archer with this chick with a crossbow, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Let's go back in the hood. Quick turn. Mm. Well, now, fancy running into you again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's all a big coincidence. I see you picked up some more magic along the way. If it's even more power you'd like, then you ought to pay a visit to my brother, Boof, in Kirkwall. Your brother, eh? He anything like you? Oh, no. He's not really my brother, you see, but a member of my order. Of course he is. Now, lad. You've only benefited from the knowledge I've given you in the past. That's what worries me. Seek out Bove in Kirkwall. I'll speak no more of it. Good luck to you, laddie. Hmm. Alright. That's pretty cool. Right. Let's go see if I can find the blacksmith. The blacksmith. Blacksmith. Yep, the smithy. All right. Well, now you must be the bard that everyone's been talking about. The fellow with the spider made of lightning. It's honored I am to have you. Let's have a look at your armor then. It's a fact. A warrior is only as tough as his weakest armor. Plenty of folks have bought the cheap stuff, but none of them have been repeat customers, if you take my meaning. Not interested. Show me your swords and flails. This is where we have our close combat weaponry. When you're battling a foe up close and personal, you don't want to skimp on your instrument of battle. Let me have a closer look. Now here's a piece of hurt that'll let you swagger down any street and never want for safety. The Claymore, or as I like to call it, the Emperor of Evisceration. Hmm. It's three cubits long with three quarter length parallel fullers, a barrel cut two-handed grip, and balanced at the hilt for better leverage and short cuts or long swings. This weapon definitely covers a lot of ground and what it lacks in speed it more than makes up for in pure stopping power. Now it just so happens that due to a slight accounting error I'm overstocked sure. on this particular item, so I'd be willing to let one go for a ridiculous price. Yay! Got my money going. Got my money going. Just what I was looking for. Ah, the Claymore, I must say I'm impressed. To be honest, I took you for a broadsword man, but it takes a fine warrior to handle such a fine weapon. Show me your armor. It's a fact. A warrior is only as tough as his weakest armor. Plenty of folks have bought the cheap stuff. Not interested. See you, old man. So I got I got my claim one now. That's pretty cool. Ah. Oh.
top of the morning. It's a little bit slower. I check out his lights, huh? Oh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, I like that. That's pretty cool. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Well now, you're a spry little thing. I could deal with a friend. Care to throw him with me? Huh. Okay, why not just fail my weapon? Okay, something's frying. I was wondering what happened to the dog. The dog disappeared and I guess it went back. I don't know. I have no clue. Hmm. Good boy. I'm supposed to go to Kirkland now? Hmm. Really no directions on how to get there. Put them for us. Sorry. Welcome to the Kirk of Houghton, young man. We can lay our hands for a healing and blessing, should you feel inclined to make a small donation. Oh. Here you are. Blessings upon you. Oh. That's pretty cool. Alright, thank you, please. Forth, my child, and slay. Well, now you must be the daft idiot what's been chasing through Houghton with his rats and lightning spiders. Look here, Sheriff. Shut up. Kettle Swartz, a backstabbing, thieving rogue, what took me half a year to catch, and now you've up and set him free, and it's a good bet he's gone to ground in Neversdale Forest. Well, just you head out of town and get him back, and be quick about it. Go recapture the blackguard, or you'll never be welcome in housing again. Leave Hutton? Hmm. Barge still. Oh, that's pretty cool, bro. I just 
his home. Uh, is that a creature? Oh, okay, so that's how they... Closed. I'm gonna go here. I just have to leave. Ah, so it, it throws you in a combat screen and then. Well, oh, that's pretty cool. Number shade. Standing there, I wonder what's. You're a fast one, huh? Well, now that you've caught me, welcome to my shop. Oh, one parchment. Check it out. Ooh, that is the prices. Good lord. Can you tell me about this? This is a very rare and special item. I'll be willing to part with it, but only because of the special bond we share. What else you got? Fare thee well. Hmm. expensive. Chapter 2, Nightshade Forest. Yeah, 
you like them up. Welcome to Chubnik's Magical Waterway Transportation Service to <laughs> the future. Are you serious? Not the first time I've been asked that question. Yes, you heard right. Chubnik's Magical Waterway Transportation Service will, for a modest fee, whisk you not just across the raging Chubnik River, but also transport you into the future. How far into the future? And that depends on how long it takes to cross the river. Oh, I get it. Nice scam. Nice scam. So <laughs> you're going to take me across that little stream for some ridiculous fee when I could quite easily take your boat and cross myself, right? A wise man you are, that is for sure. <clears throat> but wrong you'd also be. I, of course, have taken magical precautions against such an occurrence. Any attempt by someone other than myself to use this boat and it will sink into the river. Not until it reaches the deepest portion, of course. Only the tiniest fee is required to garner my services. Fifteen silver. Seems like a fair price. I do get a bit squeamish aboard ships, though. Uh. Ready to board? Uh. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, Captain. <laughs> Hmm. Now keep your arms and legs inside the vessel at all times. <laughs> you aren't pregnant, are you? No, of course you're not. The raging Chubnik River and surrounding Chubnik Valley contain over 1,000 types of flora and fauna. Let me point out a few. Oh, be careful as you disembark. And thank you for choosing Chubnik's Magical Waterway Transportation Service. We know that you have a choice in your waterway transportation services, and we value your patronage. <laughs> That's funny. Show me the target. Show me the target. Prepare to die. I am Organ, the Chosen One. Nothing will stop me from my quest to save the princess and drive the evil from this land. Have at you! Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, bam. And what have we here? Another Chosen One? Off to save the princess? 
brave talk for someone who picks on craved half-wits with more bravery than sense. I assure you that you will soon join. he on about? Some sort of princess he was going to rescue? <laughs> Chosen one. Ugh. He must have been out of his mind. The bard, of course, was overcome with sympathy for the poor, deceased young man. Hmm. By the way, your mum says hello. With a great deal of skill, <laughs> or perhaps a tremendous amount of luck, the bard disposed of the murderous trowel. With a bit more luck, he might even come out the other end of the forest without an arrow coming out the other end of his head. Always the optimist. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Oh, it's sad not to be you. A chosen one of many, is it true? When you think you're full of luck, you look forward to you get struck. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. Now, Ogin came young from the farm and tried to save the princess from all harm. Equipped with just a stick and a head made out of brick, his rabbit's foot failed as a charm. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. Prophecy is never coming true. In the pickle you'll be stuck like the chicken you will cluck. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. Believing that he was the one, his ego weighed in at a ton. <laughs> his mom's a crazy bat. Did we mention she was fat? And she'll need a pine box for her son. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. Don't think for just a second it's not true. When your life is run amok, you will see that you're the schmuck. Oh, it's bad luck to be, really bad luck to be. Nobody could disagree. It's a freaking guarantee. It's bad luck to be you. It's a you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> mm. Love it. The stronger the bard is, uh -huh. the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. The stronger the bard is, the more damage. Ain't that 
Come and get me, you meandering moron! Kettle, quit cowering up there like the frightened rodent that you are. Come out and fight! Ah, your mother's a furbug and your old man's a trow! You don't want to make me come up there. Save your singing for the sheep, you crooning coward! <laughs> Come on, you pansy. You ugly pug. Mm. Come and get me. No more! No more! Don't kill me! I was only kidding about your sister. I'll come with you. Put your hands behind your back. Now what? You won't be trying any of them preversions, will you? I'm making sure you can't run away again. Or, if you prefer, I could just cut you off at the knees. But you're the one who let me go! And now you're taking me back? Are you bored out of your skull or just wrong in the head? Ow! Stop hitting me! Would you prefer I start stabbing you? Now shut your mouth and come with me. With Kettle in tow, the bard moved on, hoping to avoid the trial and bring his prisoner back to Houghton. Hmm. Cool. After he raided some stuff there. Buckler. New token. Eagle charm. Oh. New chrome. Trow are lurking everywhere. They'll kill you as soon as look at you. Untie me, and we might make a match, the pair of us. <clears throat> oh. I don't think so. Save it here, never 